for 14 bucks, this better be like the best lip moisturizer I've ever used because this is tiny. Oh shoot. Oh my God, it smells so bad. It smells like dirty socks. I don't know what's going on. I don't like this and I cannot wait to get it off my face. You know when like you, <sighs> told you. This is really cool actually. <gasps> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just got back from Ulta. I was able to get everything from the Florence by Mills skincare and makeup line. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing an in-depth review of every single one of the Florence by Mills products. And yes, I'm talking about the face mask, the concealer, the skin tint, the lip oil, the under eye whale pads or whatever they're called i mean everything so i can already tell this video is going to be super long so i want to keep this intro short however i am accompanied by my cat and he just looks adorable right now so i need to show you guys this before we get into the video so he's asleep with his head on the blanket if you guys like cats you can appreciate this let's finally get into me trying out the florence by mills skincare and makeup line i am super excited to try this so let's get into the video all right guys so i'm finally going to be able to test florence by mills i am really excited right now so it's in the morning by the way i haven't washed my face or anything obviously so I'm going to be starting off by using some of the products from the Florence by Mills skincare line. So the first product that I'm going to use is her Clean Magic Face Wash. So before I use this, I just want to check out some of the ingredients. Ferulic acid, which is a pollution fighter. Hmm, I never thought of having a pollution fighting ingredient in a skincare product, but that's really cool. Elagic acid, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and an oil balancing blend. Oh, that smells really good. It there's this line that is sold at Target, and I can't remember what it's called, but if I remember, I'll put it on the screen here. And it smells exactly like that. I don't know what the scent is. So I'm gonna try this out now, and hopefully it goes well. Just right off the bat, it is a creamy cleanser. It is not going to lather on your skin, I can already tell. I don't like these types of cleansers. I like the ones that lather just because it makes me feel cleaner. So I typically use Dove unscented soap, like the actual bar of soap to wash my face. So this is completely different from that. As long as my skin feels clean after using this, then it gets two thumbs up. I am shocked right now. My skin feels so good and I just was not expecting that at all. Like it feels like I actually used a cleanser that lathers like the Dove soap. So now I am really excited to move on to these One Swipe Glow Wipe Treatment Pads. Apparently you're supposed to use these two to three times a week or whenever your skin is needing some, I don't know, treatment if you're like having a breakout or something. I'm going to wipe this on my face and back when I was in middle school I used to use the Noxema acne pads like all the time. These remind me of that. What is that scent? It's really familiar. Let me look at the ingredients here. These have four stars and they only have five reviews. So hopefully they work well. Okay, so it has a witch hazel, willow bark extract, glycolic acid, and bilberry extract. Okay, so right off the bat, it's definitely nothing like the Noxema pads because it's not stinging my skin at all. It feels actually pretty gentle. My skin feels fresh, it feels clean, but just from my experience, like from my personal skincare routine, I don't like to use like a 10 step skincare routine. The fact that I'm using a multi-step skincare routine right now, the fact that I'm using one of these pads after I just washed my face, to me it seems unnecessary, but maybe this will like make my skin look and feel amazing. We'll see. All right, now this is the product that I am the most excited to try out of every single product from this line. This is the Florence by Mills Zero Chill Face Mist. So I looked at the ingredients earlier and they looked very nice. I don't know if that's like the best way to describe it, but they just looked promising. So let me just go over them again. So the key ingredients, thyme extract, bladder rack seaweed, rose and lavender blend. She says that you can use it any time of day, whenever you want, but I'm just gonna use it, you know, after I cleanse my skin, which is what I typically do. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I love this. I know that I just used it only once, but that 
felt amazing. The way that it sprays, it's not something that's gonna drench your face. Another thing that I like about this is the smell. It smells amazing and just like the face wash, when I looked at the ingredients, it doesn't appear to have any fragrance added. Obviously, the rose is gonna give it that scent, but that's not necessarily like the fragrance that I'm talking about, like the scent that's gonna be damaging to you. So I really, really like this and it already dried on my skin. So I don't know if I've mentioned this in the video so far, but I wasn't able to get the moisturizer yesterday because they were sold out. However, I just looked on the Ulta website and there are a few Ultas around where I live that are selling the moisturizer. So I'm gonna go to Ulta today. I just said Ulta like 50 times. I'm gonna go to the store today to get the moisturizer. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna use my own combination of moisturizer. But I like to use the CeraVe Ultralight Moisturizing Lotion. So this has SPF, which is why I always start off with this in the morning. And now I'm gonna use rose hip seed oils. Okay, so last but not least, for this part of the video, I have the Florence by Mills Glow Yeah Lip Oil. So I am interested to read more about what the heck a lip oil is. So I am a huge Vaseline user, so I will be a good judge of whether or not this is good. So it's essentially just a lip moisturizer. I wanna see why this only has four stars though. All right, here's someone's review. Okay, so I was pretty excited because I love lip stuff, but this is disappointing, especially because of the price. Not a lot of product in the tube. I noticed immediately and was like, what? Not worth the price. On first application, I loved it, but it doesn't keep my lips feeling moisturized, but it does stay on because of the oiliness. So I do see what she's saying. This is $14 and this is tiny. This has 0.27 ounces. This is minuscule for 14 bucks. This better be like the best lip moisturizer I've ever used because this is tiny. Oh shoot, I, whoops. I just like got so much out of it. I barely squeezed it and look at how much just came out. Like that's just the res residue. But look at that is insane. Definitely not worth the 14 bucks. So I'm just gonna try to take this and put it on my lips. Not worth it. I squeezed it gently and look at how much product came out. I don't like this at all, and I would definitely recommend you to not waste your money. Hey guys, so I'm editing the video, and I realized that I did not comment on how the lip oil felt on my lips. So it felt like a thick, thick, thick oil, um, and it did have a little bit of a glossy feeling, but it was more of like a thin, oily feeling, and I just kind of find it pointless, especially because it's 14 bucks. If you guys use products like jojoba oil, rosehip oil, if you use coconut oil on your face, you're better off just using that on your lips if you want a lip oil. I just don't, I don't see the hype. Although I have it, so I'm still gonna use it, I would not repurchase it. So this is the end of the first part of the review. So I'm gonna let my moisturizer set into my skin and then I'm gonna move on to the makeup, which I am super excited about. So I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, so it's been about an hour since I put on my moisturizer and now I'm going to use the Florence by Mills makeup. The very first thing that I'm gonna try out is the Like a Light Skin Tint. I got the shade MT100. Hopefully this is a good shade. And so I'm not gonna be applying a primer. I typically use the rosehip oil as my primer. So I opened up the container and this does not look like it will be a good shade. It looks a little bit too dark, but whatever. We're gonna try to make it work. It says apply one to two pumps and blend with fingertips. She wants me to blend it with my fingertips. Hmm, okay. I don't usually apply foundation or skin tints with my fingertips, but whatever. I like the pump, first of all. So she recommends to do one to two. I usually need to do more than that. One, two. Oh, maybe that will, okay. It doesn't really smell that good. Let me just dot it onto my face. Oh yeah, it does look like I got the right shade, which I'm really happy about. I'm so tempted to blend this in with my, with a brush. Now she says to rub it in with your fingertips. It smells like, oh my God, it smells so bad. It smells like dirty socks. Oh no, you know what? Okay, so I was watching Jackie Ina. Is that her name? Jackie Ina. I don't usually watch her, but I watched her video where she reviewed this yesterday. And she also had a foundation that was too red. Oh, wow. 
All right, I know that she said not to blend it in with a brush, but I don't want to drag my skin like that. So, ow. This is just really, it dries really fast. So you have to go in there. This, this is like, it, ugh, I, okay. Yeah, I don't like this. Definitely don't like this. It doesn't, it dries way too fast. It's way too drying. It doesn't blend well. It's way too dark. I mean, sure, maybe I got the wrong shade, but I just feel like this just looks red and just the fact that, ugh, did I just get the wrong shade? You know what? I think I just might've gotten the wrong shade, but you know what? I'm gonna take the concealer that I got. So this is the See You Never Concealer and I'm gonna try to see if maybe I can like work this into my skin to just conceal this redness and my skin is already starting to sting. And this just doesn't blend out well at all. See how splotchy it is? Like, sure, I probably got the wrong shade, but this is extremely blotchy. I'm just gonna try to go in and just like dot this on my face. This is the concealer. And by the way, this is the applicator. I do really like the applicator, that is cool. Oh yeah, that's lighter. So hopefully putting this on will lighten up the skin tint. Even though I got the wrong shade, I feel like I can still comment on the consistency of the skin tint. Okay, let me try to zoom in here so you guys can see just how blotchy it is. The interesting thing is that on the viewfinder, I look a little bit dewy. However, this skin tint really clung to the dry patches that I have on my face. And I feel like a good resolution to that would probably be using some sort of thick like creamy moisturizer or primer before using the skin tint however i used rose hip seed oil which is what i use every time before i put on foundation or bb cream and i never have an issue of having my skin dry as a matter of fact usually i have the opposite issue where my skin is too oily when i put on my makeup so the fact that this skin tint is clinging to dry patches when I consider myself to have oily combination skin, it's kind of shocking. So now I'm gonna go back in with the See You Never Concealer, and I'm just going to put this under my eyes here. And I know that the skin tint is like light coverage, but this is just how I usually apply concealers, regardless of if I'm wearing a light coverage or full coverage foundation, BB cream, skin tint, whatever you wanna call it. Ironically enough, the concealer actually appears really moisturizing and just like almost the opposite of the skin tint. So now we are going to move on to the blush. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, I'm just going to set this. Even though her makeup kit, whatever, didn't come with setting powder, I'm just going to use the setting powder that I typically use. Um, and maybe that will help to lighten up the skin tint, although I highly doubt it. This right here is what my skin looks like with a concealer and with the skin tint. So as I just put the setting powder on my face, it is lighting it up a little bit, but I still think that if you come far away, it does look darker. So now I'm gonna move on to the Cheek Me Later Cream Blush. So I got this in the shade Glowing G. So this looks like it's kind of like a darker red. So it says to use finger paint, just press, pat, and tap to blend. It says to put some on the lips, but I'm not gonna do that because I actually bought one of her lip products. I'm just gonna take some here. That's what it looks like. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, I don't like not using brushes. Ooh, I do like that. That's pretty nice. Now I'm gonna move on to the Tint in Tame Brow Gel. So I got this in dark brown. Okay, so it's very tiny. And let's see. Wow, I was really like hopeful in this line for at least the skincare. Now that I'm using the makeup, I am not so hopeful. All right, so obviously that was a fail. It had a really wet consistency. I like waxy gels. I don't want it to be like more liquidy than mascara, which is what this feels like. Also, as you guys can see, I do have a scar on my eyebrow and this wasn't even able to cover the scar. So let me just try to go like even lighter. It's just so weird how the spoolie is so small. Oh, all right, so I just covered it there. It just looks blotchy, is that the word? I think it's just like the spoolie combo. 
there's just way too much and it just gets all up in my eyebrows and it just doesn't look good oh I don't like it you guys I just want you to know that this is not how I usually do my makeup now I'm gonna put some mascara on to maybe lighten this up a little bit make it look a little bit better okay so as I was just putting on mascara I noticed that the concealer slash skin tint is already creasing on my eyelids so can you guys see that and I'm not gonna lie, that usually happens to me if I put concealer or BB cream up there, but it does not happen this fast. I just wanted to zoom out really quick to see a comparison between my neck and my face, and oh my goodness gracious. All right, moving on. Now, last but not least, we have the lip product. So I got Moody Mills. I like the name of that. That is kind of cute. So that's what the shade is supposed to I like that name, Moody Mills. That's a really cute name for lip gloss. Let's see. I didn't expect it to be that light, but I kind of like the color actually. However, when you apply it onto your lips, it doesn't evenly go on. It kind of separates a little bit. I think maybe it's a little bit sheer, but it's like, how do I explain this? It concentrates more in the outside of your lips, whereas on the inside, it's a little bit more sheer. And also something that I noticed is that it's sticking in between the crevices and like the wrinkles in my lips. And also one more thing I just wanted to show you guys is in between my eyebrows that the skin tint is just not really spreading out well in there. It's just hanging out. So yeah. Ugh. Okay, so I just finished up with the makeup. I don't really like the... Florence by Mills makeup at all. The only thing that I kind of like is the lip gloss and the concealer. And I, I mean, the lip gloss isn't really anything that special just because it's clearly sticking in the wrinkles in my lips. So anyway, I'm just gonna, you know, hang out and let this crazy makeup sit on my face. Ugh. And then I will update you guys in a few hours and I will use the remaining products of the skincare line. So I will see you guys then. Oh, this foundation is horrible or whatever it's called, the skin tint. I know that I did get the wrong shade, clearly, but I just feel like as it's been on my face for the last five hours, it's continued to get darker and darker, redder and redder. I don't know what's going on. I don't, I don't like this and I cannot wait to get it off my face. So before I remove the makeup, I just wanna show you guys up close what it looks like after five hours. So let's go through the skin tint first. So to me, the skin tint on my skin looks really blotchy, which is consistent with what it looked like as I was applying it like five hours ago. To me, my skin just looks super red and I know that I did get the wrong shade, but I just also feel like, why does it look so red? I don't think it looked this red when I first applied it. So I'm wondering if over time it just like starts to change color and it just, it looks even worse than when I first applied it. So I'm not a fan of the skin tint. Um, so for the concealer, I still stay true with what I said earlier about it creasing. As you guys can see, it has creased on my lids and I mean that usually happens. And anyway, creasing with concealer is natural because we all have lines under our eyes. But I just feel like with this concealer, it seems to have creased a lot more. Also, I noticed that my under eye bags were starting to show up like five minutes after I started to film the video. And I do feel bad giving all these makeup products like a bad review. Millie Bobby Brown is young and I just, I didn't want to make this video bashing each product. I mean, she decided to come up with a skincare line. People are allowed to review it. So, but I honestly, I don't really like any of the makeup. So then the eyebrows, I do not like the eyebrows. Uh, the thing with the eyebrows is that, as you guys can see, I already have really thick eyebrows, so I do not need any type of filling in. Um, if anything, it just needs to be something really subtle, like a light pencil or something, but just with the consistency of the brow product, I felt like it was way too just like liquidy, and it was just too messy. Then finally for the lip gloss, as you guys can see, I don't have like a sign of any of the lip gloss on my lips anymore. It wore off quickly. I'm probably still gonna use it because the color wasn't that bad, um, but overall, mm, just not a fan of any of the makeup. So now I'm gonna start off this PM skincare routine using Florence by Mills by removing my makeup, 
with the Clean Magic Face Wash. You can use this as a makeup remover if you just use it on dry skin, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Apparently it's supposed to like help melt your makeup, so let's see. Oh, okay, yes. Wow, yes, this is really good. Okay, I like this. I like this for a makeup remover. Look at it, it's getting it all off. I, ah, do I like it though? I need a lot. Hmm. I don't have to use too much of this because that would be wasteful. And I could just use like micellar water that doesn't require half as much as this. Yeah, it, it definitely gets the makeup off. Um, let's see how it gets the eye makeup. It doesn't feel like it's getting any of it. It's not getting any of it off. And I'm not wearing waterproof mascara. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to go in with some coconut oil to get the mascara off. Okay, I'm gonna go rinse this off in the sink and I will come back and we'll see how much makeup that actually got off. Okay, so this is all the makeup that it got off. It did get off a pretty good amount, but I am left with some residual makeup and I'm left with the mascara on. So I'm gonna go try to rinse that off and then we will move on to the face scrub. This thing is starting to hurt my head. Big head problems. Okay, so now we have the Get That Grime face scrub. I'm gonna look up the ingredients and check out what this has going on. Cucumber extract, vitamin E, and ivory palm seed oil. I never use face scrubs on my skin, so this is gonna be interesting. This is what it looks like. It's white and it has like smaller beads. It has that cucumber smell, that same smell that the face wash has. Okay, I'm gonna wet my face and then I'm gonna use this. All right, so let's get some on my hand. Okay. It has that really, really nice smell. That is definitely a cucumber smell. Circular motions. I will say that the beads in this face scrub are gentle especially compared to the St. Ives like apricot scrub and the Kylie Skin walnut scrub. All right, I'm gonna rinse this off now and then I'll be back. Okay, so next we have the Mind Glowing Peel Off Mask, which I'm really excited to try. So this is just like a straight up peel off mask. Um, you don't need to rinse it off or anything, you just peel it off. So I've been saying this throughout the entire video, but I'm interested to see what the ingredients are because I did open it earlier and it smells like glue. Charcoal powder, lavender oil, and witch hazel. Please, where is the glue? Polyvinyl alcohol. I'm pretty sure that that is the ingredient. Let's look up what polyvinyl alcohol is. So it does have an adhesive property. It says that it has no odor and it's not toxic. And if you ingest it, nothing bad is gonna happen to you. So maybe that's not the smell that I'm smelling, but I swear something in that smells like glue. That just like looks weird to me. Like, am I really supposed to be putting something like that on my face? Like that color is really pretty, but I'm kind of nervous, guys. Okay. Oh, wow, that's really pretty. Okay, I may like, you know, complain about the smell, but it is pretty. You kind of have to grab a lot because a little does not go a long way with this. I don't think you could get a ton of uses out of this tiny jar. It also says to avoid getting it under your eyes. Oh my gosh, the smell is gonna make me sneeze. You know when like you, <sighs> I told you I'm sensitive to smells. Whoa, I feel like I look like a superhero or something. So on the box, it says to wait 20 to 30 minutes with the mask on your face. My face is already starting to sting, but that's kind of a long time for a mask. I'm assuming it's just because it has to fully dry so you can peel it off easily. But after that, I'm gonna move on to the iPads, which I am really, really excited for. And when I just said iPads, I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about this. So anyway, I will be back in 20 to 30 minutes and this is itchy. All right, so I'll be back. Okay guys, so it's been 30 minutes now and I'm gonna peel this off. I'm kind of excited. Whoa, this is really cool actually. <gasps> okay, I think I put too much on that side of my face. Whoa! 
it's by no means like a blackhead peel off strip but it's really cool I feel like if I was like in middle school or something and I was having like a sleepover with a friend, I feel like this would be fun. I'm just not thrilled about getting the stuff that's left over that's not gonna peel off. I'm gonna try to rinse this off because this is not gonna come off. So I just got all of it off of my face. That was a little bit difficult to get off. Now I'm gonna be using Florence by Mills Swimming Under the Eye Gel Pads. Put a whale under each eye on clean, dry skin with the tails facing in or out. Leave them on for 10 to 15 minutes. I am sorry, but I cannot wait for this to be over. I don't know how people can do this like intense of a skincare routine every single day. But again, like if you are having a sleepover with a friend or something, I feel like this would be a really cute thing. And these were $34. What is in this? Coconut extract, sodium hyaluronate, and pine extract. That is what you're paying for $34. All right, so again, I'm not gonna lie. They are really, really cute. Like, look at how cute this is. I think that this, this is cute. Like, I keep saying this, but maybe it's because I used to have sleepovers with like, friends and we would use cute stuff like this if you're watching this and you're young you're like in middle school get your parents to buy this for you and like invite your best friend over and have a sleepover because this would be super fun okay did i get that on right oh that's cute oh wait i put two on they're super thin that's actually not a bad thing because that means that there are more in there than i thought so these are super sticky and I don't really have that much of a scent to them. So this is what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit on my face and I'm gonna see if Edwin wants to do one and then I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, so it has been like 10 minutes and I'm gonna take this off now. So I am gonna moisturize now. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the moisturizer or the under eye cream. I actually went to two Ulta's today and on the website for both Ulta's, they said that they were carrying the face moisturizer but when i went in the store they did not have it so i was really disappointed um so unfortunately i'm not gonna be able to use either of the products i'm so glad to be over with this all right guys so that was my full review of all of the florence by mills products i am just gonna do one last like check-in tomorrow to show you guys if i have any like crazy updates on my skin i doubt it because i only used the products once even though i did not like the last two things like the mask and the under eye pads or whatever they were cute and as i said they seemed fun for functionality i guess the word is they just weren't practical for my skin i never use stuff like that on my face and i'm kind of nervous to see how my skin is going to react so i will do one final update tomorrow and i'm about to go to sleep and i will see you guys in the morning okay guys so this is what my skin looks like on the morning after using all of those florence by mill skincare products honestly i woke up with a little bit of irritation on my upper lip area and then also over here i'm not surprised because my skin is just not used to using that many products in my skincare routine also the skincare products that i use do not have nearly as many ingredients as the florence by mills skincare products even though i know that her makeup is cruelty free sulfate free paraben free still i feel like using that many ingredients on my face i'm just not used to it so that's my two cents on the whole florence by mills skincare and makeup line for the makeup i really did not like any of it to be honest with you guys i feel kind of bad because she tried but I'm just not a fan of the makeup. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna check out any of the Florence by Mills skincare or makeup products, I will link everything down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love all of you and I will talk to you guys next time.